Bro, remember we were doing a show. It was at a. I want to say it might have been at Daddy's. Yeah. At Daddy's, and uh, there was like there was like a punk rock band that went up before us, and they were called <laughs> the Bleach Boys. And yeah. we th- we swore that they thought that we thought they were a cover or took their name from the Beach Boys. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, definitely. S- sounded nothing like them. No, not at all. The not Bleach at all. Boys. <laughs> Bleach I think they did Nirvana covers. Yeah, I remember that, man. Yeah. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash. I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on rappers react. They're talking about us on YouTube. Hollywood six, it look like I do magic. Maybe he's practicing voodoo. I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention. Well, I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke dog. What up? I have trivia. Ah, oh, what's got? Let's see. Um, what sport has 13 players per team in league? All right, what what sport has 13 players per team in league rules, but 15 in union play? Mm, uh, I'm guessing it's either uh, football, not American football, Ooh, or close. rugby. Oh, which one are you going with? Rugby. You're correct, my yeah. friend. You're correct. All right. Um, this is just an interesting fact. Just want to get this fact out there. I don't. I, I, I'm not. Sh- you might get it. I don't think you would though. But which country is home to the l- which country is home to the language with the world's shortest alphabet? This is an interesting. The world's shortest alphabet. Uh, and, and it's only in a single country, apparently. Yeah. I just want to now. I just want to know how. Uh, Africa, I think. Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. I think it's in Africa. Is it the Congo? No. Cameroon. Uh. Uh-uh. South Africa. <laughs> you would know that pa- for sure. <laughs> Papa Papa New Guinea. That's oh, Papua New right? Guinea. Yeah, I believe so. I thought so. Yeah. yeah. I want now. I just I just want to know how many characters they have. I, know. Like, I want to look it up to be certain, but you guys can let us know. Yeah, in the let comments. us know in the comments. Yeah. All right. How about this? Uh, who is the top-selling deceased author? The top-selling deceased author. Ooh. This is actually interesting. Uh, don't don't think too much. Uh, was it, oh, it's got to be Shakespeare, right? Uh, no, I guess he was more of a playwright anyway. Yeah, not really an author. Um, good old Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, Doctor Seuss. Doctor Seuss. Really? Heck yeah. yeah! I mean, I guess that makes sense. Admit, everyone here has read a freaking Doctor Seuss book. Trash yeah. talkers, tribe members, let's do some icebreakers. Would you rather feel free to play with us down in the comments section? Smoke dog. Mm. Do you have any irrational fears? If so, do you know why? If you know why, is it still irrational? Uh, birds, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and I think I do know why. As a matter of fact, why? Uh, anything like the, for some reason I get eked out by flapping wings and stuff really? because when I was a little kid I got uh, attacked by a turkey oh dang you ever seen that video of that little kid trying to kick the rooster <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's like boy just, you better get in there and fight that, fight that turkey <laughs> or, I could, or, or, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I could see you being that little kid just like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mine's obviously if you're if you're familiar with the show definitely rats and the reason why probably being you know living in the country with my grandmama and just like she would have like mice like running outside the house oh, and yeah. they you'd hear them in the walls and oh yeah and then the the image of just seeing so many in their tails like getting oh, run, the, oh the big what are they the called the king yeah oh god oh, heck no man how does that even happen oh okay all right uh let's see you know what we're doing Mm-hmm. It's not the Bleach Boys. Not the Bleach Boys. <laughs> uh, the Devil and... I? <laughs> Slipknot. Yeah. The Devil and... God. Okay. Uh, uh, the blank thing I want for Christmas is a toy train. The only? Okay. God only knows? You got it, my All friend. Right. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Yeah, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next. That's how we get the ideas for these videos that comes directly from you. Right down in our comment section. And today, the Beach Boy. The Beach Boy.
Nice. Yeah. We did good vibrations. We did. Good, She's giving me good, good vibrations. vibrations. Man, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm really... Trash talkers have probably told us in the comment section, but I'm wondering, is that... Like, were they homeboys and was like, hey, man, let's... We're always surfing. Why don't we make the... We, we just call ourselves the Beach Boys. Or was it like... Oh, a, I think so. You think they... Or you, I don't know if they started the trend, but there was a huge genre yeah. of beach rock back then. Uh... They didn't do surf in USA, did they? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, but no, I don't. I, I was always curious. Like, are they? Are, were they homeboys? Was it like an industry thing? Like, hey, y'all should make this. Or and then, do they really enjoy the beach that much? Oh, I bet they do. <laughs> I mean, at least they did when they were younger. But you know, maybe with songs like this, it might have been where you, there's only so much you can do beach songs. Mm -hmm. They always say that when artists make their gimmicks around weed or something like that it's like you can only do so many of those songs till you're like i gotta do something yeah. different like yeah it's great it's great it's fun but if you're three albums in like you've made 42 songs about the beach <laughs> oh, i mean what you gonna start talking about seas now atlantic ocean yeah uh, i went to the red sea i read the dead sea scrolls <laughs> well, at that i mean who either way the beach boys iconic band mm -hmm. and from what i was I, I i read something one somewhere that said at one point in time the beach boys was the biggest band in like a two-year time period like yeah. at, at some period they were like one of the biggest bands if not the biggest band, I wouldn't doubt within it. like a two years. They were like there. you know, like the the in sync of their yes, era. Yes, yeah, they were just that huge. Now we know good vibration. We know mm. surfing USA. Yeah, God only knows. I see. That's what I'm saying. It sounds like they may have ventured outside of the beach for this one. Like maybe they they went it's... to the river and got, <laughs> and got baptized. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they went to fresh water. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we're going with? Yeah, I think so. Smoke dog! What up? Let's get into Let's it. Let's do it. Oh, look. They went to, <laughs> they went to the farm. <laughs> now they're the farm boys. Farm boys. boys. <laughs> yeah. Head sounds? Oh. Bad. Oh. Always love you, but long as there are stars above you, you never need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. God only knows what I'd be without you. If you should ever leave me, will life will still go on? Believe me, the world could show nothing to me. So what good would living do me? God only knows what I'd be without wow. you.
Bro, I have got the craziest thing in my head right now. <laughs> All right. Before before you say what you're thinking, you know what I was thinking there and then? What were you thinking? So if they were the biggest band for a certain period of time, do you think people in, like, South Dakota that have never <laughs> been outside of their town listening to the Beach Boys? They don't even know what a... Yeah, they're even like, I've never, I've never I even seen the ocean. Who knows? That's, a yeah, big, that's the I, crazy thing about picking a gimmick like that. I'm sure, because, again, man, you know how the radio is. They, they find... Some people say it's... a propaganda where they pump songs oh, yeah, of course. just to like so it's, it's, it just feels weird like I've never been outside of my little town I've never seen the ocean yeah, but, but maybe, I'm gonna go get this album by the Beach Boys that might be the fantasy behind it yeah it's maybe like, it you is know what? you hear about it just so it's like living it exactly, yeah maybe 100%. so bro okay y'all know there's a there's a couple albums that I can listen to from beginning to end without skipping one song and one of those albums is the Oracle and the Odyssey by the Zombies mm-hmm. I don't know when this came out but dude, this song could have blind. This there's a song called "A Rose for Emily" on that album, uh, the Oracle and Odyssey. Go listen to "A Rose uh, for Emily" and listen to this song. I swear, they sound almost identical. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I mean, I'm, I know they're from s- similar era and stuff like yeah. that, different same genre. But I'm not joking. It almost sounds like the same song. Oh, I don't doubt that, that at all. Do, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Or the ba 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 ba, and like, the multiple vocalists. Yes, you know? that that's a trend that went away over time. You know, other than boy Bone bands thugs and, and the, amigos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> rap groups for yeah. sure. <laughs> but uh, but as far as rock bands, like it seems like we went down to one singular vocalist, that except for point. maybe a backup in some bands. But yeah, that is a good point. Like yeah, not you too- don't hear new bands coming out that are. You know, all five of them singing, but maybe there are some, and maybe we're just not privy to that. But Damn, that is, I didn't, they're, they're probably, and now they'll give us some suggestions yeah. and be like, this band came out two years ago. And actually, y'all recovered four songs by <laughs> <Yeah>, them. <laughs> probably like, so. I mean, because I'm trying to think, <laughs> like, oh, like, yeah. I'm, I, I'm, my brain is searching. It's like, dude, how do you, like, that is crazy if you think about it. I don't yeah. know. But it's, man, with the Beach Boys, dude, it's like, they went from the surfer dude to, yeah. you know, going to the, Dude, what if this was before sir the surfer thing? What if this was before? I, I feel like they started with the surfing what, thing. What if, though? Like, what if this was their first album and Surfer <laughs> USA? They was like, wait a minute, we're the Beach Boys. Why aren't we making songs about the beach? <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, it was one dude was feeding a goat with a bottle. I yeah. think, I mean... I, you never know. That God, could do be, I want to look you know, that and up? And then they played into the name. Like, we caught ourselves the Beach Boys. We, we live in California or wherever. We... we we're beach people, yeah. but we do serious music about you know normal things. And <laughs> like you said, and then the, the label's like, why don't you just do beach, beach? songs? Man, <laughs> I really want to look that up. But trash talkers, you guys are the most informative, more yeah. informative than Google. Let yeah, us know. I doubt it. I but, doubt it. I doubt possibly. It. But if it were to happen. God dang, that freaked me out, dude. That would freak me <laughs> yeah. out, man. It, it, I, that's like naming yourself. Hey, uh, we're the we're the uh, cereal band. So, yeah. It, but we're, our first album is about devil. Yeah, devil. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Why don't we start making songs about Fruit Loops? <laughs> we are the cereal band, you know. I don't know. Usually, the labels want you to start off with your gimmick, and yeah. then you can venture outside. But what do it you... makes me wonder, though. The probably the Occam's Razor of this yeah. is, yeah, they were the Beach Boys, and they had a few hits about surfing and whatnot. But really, even from day one, they were doing all different, different types styles. Of, Again, yeah. it could be the radio just pushing what they, yeah. that particular sound. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as only God knows, yeah, what you got? Oh, I think he's just in love. In love. Yeah. Only God knows what would happen if I lost you. Man. Exactly. That's that's what I think this is about. Yeah, that's on the too. nose. There wasn't, wasn't quite the metaphors during those days that you would hear coming up in the 90s. Yeah. And Trash Talkers... Why did they name this album Pet Sounds? Yeah, Just curious. Exactly. <laughs> I got to man. Tr- but I, maybe that's it. Maybe they were like, we got to show them that we're not, um, we're, we are multifaceted. Yes. Yeah. Trash Talkers, let us know down in the comment sections. Hey, we're both excited to read the mm-hmm. comments on this one, 100%, guys. Let us know what if there's a different interpretation, which we highly doubt, by uh, the Beach Boys on this. And let us know what mm-hmm. we do next by the Beach Boys as well. And with that being said, my name is Barringer Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez. Come on. And we are. Oh, my. Hey. Ow. Douches. Douches.
Yeah, boy. Can't wait for you to come. To I know. I want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with us today. If you want to see the last video we did, just click right over here. Or if you want to see another artist that we covered, just click right over here. If you guys want to support the channel, please consider joining our Patreon right over here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.